Hello, I'm Dave Corvassier. Right now on your 13 Action News update, a barricade at a home near Bonanza and Pecos ended with a person in custody. Officers say they were called to the home last night after someone with a gun barricaded themselves inside with family members, but nobody was hurt. Starting Monday, the drive through testing at Texas Station will be cut down to three days a week and only offer 600 tests on a first-come, first-served basis. The testing at Cashman Center will start requesting insurance information to begin billing patients to recoup testing-related costs. We have more details included on how to get tested on our website, ktnv.com. You can now track your stimulus check. The IRS has set up an online tool to track the payments progress. The federal government started issuing the payments last week, but several people still haven't received theirs. We have a link to track your check on our website, ktnv.com. Well, looks like a fairly chilly Tuesday morning. It'll be a slow climb out of the 40s, but plenty of sunshine. And that is going to get us through the 50s and on our way to the low 60s this afternoon. Can't complain about a clear sky and winds that, for the most part, should stay under 10 miles per hour. High of 61 here in Las Vegas. Now, one weather problem down the Colorado River Valley, past Lake Mojave and Laughlin, some pretty strong wind gusts both today and tomorrow. But we'll keep it calm in Las Vegas through Friday, low 60s through Friday. Dave, I'm still expecting a bit of a breezy cool down to the 50s this weekend. Thanks, Justin. That was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktnv.com, and our free mobile app.